guys welcome to yakety mac i am jeff and man it feels good to be back with you again it's been like three or four weeks um, we had this nasty cold front come through kind of drove us all into our bunkers and then it started to warm up really nicely uh, right before the very first kayak bass tournament of the year and guys literally the day before the tournament i came down with the flu <laughs> the freaking flu to my knowledge, the first time I've ever had the flu in my life. Needless to say, I missed the tournament. It's taken me a couple of weeks to recuperate. I mean, after about a week, I was feeling somewhat better, but I've had zero energy. So I'm feeling much better now, anxious to be back out here on the water. Very disappointed that I missed the first tournament of the year. Y'all, if you've been following me, uh, you know how excited I have been for this uh, season to get here but it is what it is, right? Here we are. So I am out doing some more practicing, gonna try to continue to get better leading up to the second tournament of the year, which is just a couple of weeks from now. So follow along with me guys, watch me hopefully today, uh, hopefully today we can try some things and uh, put some fish in the boat. I've got a couple of different types of lures try, uh, tied on today to give a shot. Water temps are starting to warm back up. They're in the 56, 57 degree range right now. Um, so I'm going to try a little bit of top water action. I've also got a swim bait with a spinner attached to it. I'll show that to you guys here in a bit. I don't know if I did it right or not. If I didn't, hopefully you can correct me. And then of course I've got a Texas rig and a wacky rig uh, tied on today. So I'm going to try a variety of things to see what works. Um, I've got to get better. The tournament winner of the tournament I was absent from was about 52, 52 and a half, somewhere in that neighborhood. So. Uh, and we have a three fish limit in that tournament, 10 inch minimum. And so you're talking about an average of over 17 inches of fish. That's that's pretty decent sized bag right there, guys. So that kind of, although I know every tournament's not gonna be the same, that kind of gives me a benchmark, kind of lets me know about the neighborhood I should expect to be in if I wanna actually have a chance to compete. So hopefully today I can put some in the boat and put a measurement on them and see where I stand. This is not the same lake or anything. Um, but you know same sort of conditions so let's give it a shot guys follow along let's put some fish in. all right guys here we go so it might be a bit early in the season yet but I'm gonna go ahead and start off with a uh, with a topwater bait today just for a little bit here and see see if I can get a, a, a reaction strike here on a uh, on a popper well if I can get it unhooked from my hand <laughs> there we go I'm gonna try to give a little action today here on a uh, on a popper this is an XPO or uh, H20X, I'm sorry, um, popper from Academy. I've got several Academy branded lures that uh, that I like really well. So uh, I just bought this one, and I'm gonna throw it around a little bit and see what I can do. It sure does feel good to uh, to put down a topwater lure, given that uh, I used to just not. I used to just not do it because I had nothing else. <laughs> I had nothing else to, to throw uh, that I that I believed in or even knew how to do. So uh, it does feel good to come out and give it a shot. But you know, if I don't get it, if it, it's uh it's nice to have the confidence to just put it down and pick something else up uh, I credit a lot of you guys for that just kind of encouraging me to do so telling me how you do it and uh, so I'm very appreciative of that so here we are that's what I'm gonna go with 
Got a 1 8 ounce weight tied onto it. Let's go. First cast was right into a bush. <laughs> it just feels so different after tossing around that that uh, that popper. Okay, guys, I have been fishing now for about an hour and a half, and I have got diddly squat. Nothing. Nada. Not even a nibble. So for about 40 minutes or so, I threw a popper on top. Didn't get anything going on that. And then, uh, so now I've been throwing a little Texas rig worm. I'm going to keep going at that for just a little bit before I switch over to the swim bait and then eventually the wacky rig. But a little discouraging, even though I know hour and a half is not real long. Uh, I've just skunked so many times that I kind of know what that feels like. And uh, right now the, the boat is stinking. So I'm going to keep going at it, guys. Stay with me. We'll see if we can't put one in here. Okay, guys, uh, so the threat of skunk is <laughs> is real, uh, so I'm going to switch it up, and this is the this is the swim bait that I have rigged up. Um, I've got this underspin, I guess is what it's called on there. That seems like long. It's like as long as the swim bait itself. Um, got a little weight here on the bottom. I'm not exactly sure if I have this rigged up the way it's supposed to go. Um, but I'm going to give this a try. The wind is really starting to pick up, which is making it difficult to uh, to work the lure back and watch the line move uh, with the Texas rig. So I'm going to go with this uh, this swim bait here and see what I can see what I can accomplish with it. Never thrown one of these before. Not like this with a uh, with a spinner on it. But maybe I can cover a little bit more water and, and the wind will be less of a factor. Got him. Uh, I don't know what it is, but I got him. That's both it. Well, not the species I was going for, certainly, but the skunk is gone, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, so caught that bow fin. Um, Good fighting fish, obviously not the species I was going for. But I want to show you something. I hope the camera can pick it up. So I was uh, heading up towards this area of the bank over here. You can see there's some limbs in the water and such. And let me see here if I can get him in here. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. About a four foot long gator. Just kind of hanging out there. I'll try to highlight him here. Just kind of hanging out, blending in with all those trees. So I believe I'll go around <laughs> and fish in a different spot. I'll let him do his thing. I'll go do mine.
Got him. Ah. Yeah. All right. All right. Not the biggest fish, but at least it's the target species. All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Took all damn day, but okay. Let's see if I can get a couple more of those. Got him. Oh boy. Well, I seem to have found where they are. All right, guys, so it's the truck ride home. And, uh, you know, look, today was not a great day out on the water. Uh, but it was a good day for tournament practice. Uh, and, and I say that for two reasons. One, I threw a new style of bait, a swim bait with a, with a spinner on it. Uh, and I really like the fact that that's weedless. I can throw it up into some tight spots. I didn't do any good in it. Did catch the bow fin, but that's not what I'm targeting. Um, you know, but I really, uh, I really kind of like throwing that bait. It helps me to cover some water. Um, I don't know anything about search bait but this seems like it could be uh, that style of bait. The, the second thing is, and probably the biggest thing was, is that for four hours, I had nothing as far as bass goes. Uh, I wasn't getting nibbles, I didn't have a miss, I didn't have anything, and then all of a sudden in the last hour, I had caught two. They weren't giants by any stretch of the imagination, but that's good from a tournament perspective because, you know, uh, it, had that been a tournament, I'd have been probably feeling pretty down like look I know guys are catching fish and I'm sitting here blanking uh, and so to, to be able to catch two just tells me you know keep plugging away keep going even though it, the, the day looks bleak it could be the very next cast you know so that's that's good for the psyche I think but uh, all in all not too bad uh, I'm pretty pleased did catch both of them on Texas rig again that almost is really kind of becoming my go-to I, I I got to be sure not to let it become my new top water, <laughs> which all I do is a Texas rig four inch Texas rig worm. Uh, I've got to stay. I got to try to stay disciplined and mix it up when something when something's not working. But guys, I appreciate you watching. If you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe because you know one day I might catch a big fish, and you don't want to miss that. <laughs> I don't want to miss that either. Uh, but I appreciate you watching, guys. Please subscribe, comment, like, share. Um, weather's turning nicer. It's getting warmer. I uh, got another tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. Hopefully I get another one or two videos in out on the water before that tournament comes up. Uh, appreciate you guys. Sorry I've uh, been absent for three or four weeks for those of you that like to watch, but it's been rough. Uh, I'm still not 100% from the flu yet. Thanks again, guys. Take care and make sure you always take time to get outside and play.